Well, hello. And we are back. Back here in Evermore. Um, and it has been a month since I've uh, made a video or had a chance to come back to this. So now I'm quite psyched because we get to come in uh, during a fantastic time. I am intending for this to be the 10th chapter and so the um, you know we're gonna this is this is the uh, this this is it this is it this is the uh, the big show so to speak and so now if I remember we <clears throat> when I last left you we had we had just spoken to the priest over in Arnima and he says that we need to uh, get up here to Evermore and talk to the bishop pantheon have a word with the archpriest and evermore and um <clears throat> so that's what we're off to do I suppose i should have done this inside so you don't have to wait through a loading screen um the size of that sword does bug me but uh excuse me i am drinking <laughs> Hello, Horastar. Make yourself busy. Okay. Something you need? Um. No, I've heard of your exploits already. Forgive me. I mistook you for another pilgrim. And please, that town is Ravenspring. I'll never understand why you pushed for that label, Anima. Has a sinister tone to it. But to the matter, ever since the Orsimer sacked the fort of Grey Belmont <coughs> while they in siege to the Reach, Mortifane has shown acts of extreme cruelty. Now I need to tell you what happened to the Hallam family. In one of Mortifane's paranoid streaks, he accused <sighs> Gaffer Harlan of high treason. Now, he could have made an example of him with just a single execution. But as the Ravenspring people said, he had a madness in his eyes. Drawn and quartered, starting with Gaffer's youngest daughter. The executioner, which is now Mortifate's chef, worked his way up to Gaffer. What was left of the bodies was displayed around several parts of Ravenspring. That's when Sigmane and Marosa first stepped in. Children? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Sigmane generally believes Mortifane saved the Reach from the Orcs and keeps all the other threats at bay. He assumes that a more soft hearted lord would destroy Ravenspring through inaction, effectively crippling the kingdom. I don't think we can discount it as a rumor any longer. Just the nature of our relation with Mortifane is a mystery. The priest discussed this heightened activity as being her move upon the last tower. The Dereni Tower. As the barrier between Oblivion and Nern has been weakening ever since the Amulet of Kings was used to prevent another Oblivion crisis. Tower after tower falling, with only one left. The only one we know of anyway. We're not sure what horrors could be laid upon Nern if it ever falls. Uh, what are the towers? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. That's a conversation for another day. Or maybe two days, considering the complexity of the topic. What you need to know is whatever is happening in Ravenspring can spell a doom unseen since the beginning of our times. Fortunately, if the worst does happen, we've prepared. Ever since the Oblivion Crisis claimed so many lives and raised so many cities, we had the chance to understand how to prevent something so cataclysmic happening again. Thank the gods that we could study those sigil stones. Okay. You should head back to the town and consort with Morosa. She's leading a party to confront the Lord. 
I'm on my way. Consorting. <laughs> I didn't want to skip the dialogue. I do feel it is important. And uh, it's 9 a.m. We can walk. We can walk. Don't need to fast travel. We also, for practical purposes, need to um, refill our skins and... Um, <clears throat> Now this castle is a bit weird to get up to the upper level. You go through this, kind of this hallway. But then again, I am not an architect. Did I? Don't bother. Oh yeah, I am not an architect, and so building design is not really my thing. There we go. And... Um, So, um, I was hope I was also hoping for a nice soundtrack to come on, <laughs> but probably not. <clears throat> Just my like it crashes <laughs> on our way down there. So do who? It has been quite some time since I was able to. Uh, uh, get back in here play with this character and uh, now that it's uh, second quarter is over I um, have a bit more time to uh, screw around essentially <laughs> so that's key and then then I'll be on vacation now for well ooh, there were rumors of ferocity up in the valley we need to finish these savages off before it's too late. Ooh, well, uh, we put it down. There was a gorgon. So I'm commission a replacement for my blade. An axe, maybe? I think there was a bit of random dialogue I just walked away from. Sorry about that. <clears throat> In the earlier editions of the mod, there weren't. There wasn't, I should say. There wasn't so much random dialogue. But, um... You know, these later editions have new stuff. Oh, these guys are still out. I swear they've been... They've been at it for months now. Little frame rate glitch there. But I don't... If I get too close, they all get hostile. And I don't... I don't want to... <laughs> I should pick up some grassy pods. I have a I have a few things in alchemy. Do a bit of alchemy, just enough for the occasional magic potion or occasional health potion. Um, for when my health is getting low. Obviously, this character relies on restoration, and as his restoration is getting much higher now, I think it's decent. Is it a decent fifty? Um, there we go, fifty. And I've got. Uh, I never actually even I've never even used this. Uh I guess we'll find out what it does. <laughs> no, but um uh, then um I don't remember enchanting anything, but uh whatever. Smithing and then heavy armor is quite high. Two handed then block. Now I don't use a shield. But I use a two-handed weapon, of course. So you have to do block. I'm I'm still undecided on like how far I want to go into into that. I'm not even I'm not sure it fits the archetype of the role play. But <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe I should have switched out for a crossbow. Um, maybe that would be more true to the uh, archetype. But uh, yeah, one of my favorite sets in the game is actually the Legion generic set. This one, I think it's quite cool. In case you cared. <laughs> but uh, we're almost there. She will be outside, just outside the gates there. And we need it is critical actually that you make. Sometimes this next sequence doesn't quite go off, so we need to make a save. Um, 
Yeah, it's just the nature of the beast. So there's like nine NPCs here. And several lines of dialogue. And, um, ooh, frame rate. Expecting it to go well all the time is, uh, let me see now. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to, there we go. Yes. Lovely. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Save's coming. One of the things we do well around here. <laughs> Frame rate is a touch glitchy. Sorry about that. I hope it doesn't give you a headache. I do prefer frame rate over uh, anything else. But, um. Yeah. It's time, I hope Mortifane has prepared a life with the beggar. Sigmain and the council made it clear. Mortifane cannot rule. The putrid man has the goal to ignore the will of the king. Where is he, priest? He should be coming. He had business to do with him. Ooh, there he is. The Hagri is ahead at last. So you finally had your way with the king. Why do you persist to harass me, Vulture? Horister here will see to your death if you try anything rash, Ooh. little lord. You have stained the kingdom of Evermore with your ill acts. Your capturing of trade goods and intimidation of merchants have brought ruin to your town and the reach. Your rights as royalty are now forfeit. Ha! Your audacity! You can place a new ass on that seat tomorrow, but the town itself belongs to no man now. Sigmane and the rest of the reach now belong to her. To who, my lord? This madman has rambled long enough. Arrest him and bring him to trial in Evermore. My stomach reels at the sight of him. All of your stomachs were real when you see the lady, I assure you. I showed mercy upon you insects. I relented when the lady demanded this town. But I see the rats have bit the hand that feeds. You'll be the first to taste her domain, whore. Ooh! Ooh! Shit! Oh god! Um. You know, I. I <laughs> it's like, what the hell just happened? I don't blame you, my good man. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. Load. You know you're desperate. You know your game's over modded when this <laughs> when this is how you're talking to your computer. <laughs> oh jeez. <clears throat> yep. It's a good thing I installed all those fancy loading screen mods so I wouldn't have to look at black smoke. I know this is going to ruin your immersion, but... <laughs> 